Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, last night's dust storm target was northern Arizona near Loop in Coconino County. Today, our dust storm hits a little bit closer to home in Cope Cheese County, just east of Wilcox and along I-10 through New Mexico. Here's how strong these winds have been today to kick up dust like that. Near 40 miles per hour in Wilcox, over that in Safford. Douglas, 43 mile per hour gusts, close to 45 mile per hour gusts today for you in Sierra Vista and close to 30 here in Tucson. Now the wind has begun to taper off somewhat. These are the current wind gusts in Oracle 33 mile per hour gusts, but you're still feeling gusts close to 30 miles per hour in Safford, Wilcox, Douglas and Sierra Vista. The wind again strongest to the east of Tucson at this point. So this would be uh, likely where we'll watch for any other dust storms to develop uh, yet this evening. But honestly, the wind is going to be an issue through just about eight o'clock tonight. Some good news. However, just moments ago, National Weather Service did allow the wind advisory. Uh, they canceled it just a little bit early, but they're holding on to the red flag warning at least until eight o'clock tonight. So dry conditions, still some pretty gusting winds have set the stage for wildfires to start and spread quite quickly. So please use caution uh, with anything that can spark a fire. This red flag warning still means that wind gusts though will be close to 35, maybe 40 miles per hour yet at times across Greenlee, Graham and Cochise County. So again, just please use extreme extreme caution. Uh, it's best to avoid using the interstates this evening if at all possible. Put that road trip off until early tomorrow morning. You'll be much better off and the wind is going to be tapering off quite a bit here by tomorrow. So right now the wind sustained, meaning at this strength for two minutes straight, just about 13 miles per hour here in Tucson. That's nothing. We can handle that. 66 right now at Tucson's airport for a temperature with clear skies. So you probably noticed a little cooler today. That front that brought us all of this wind finally swinging through Arizona and on the backside that cold air now settling in. We're at 59 in Oracle, 62 Safford, 60 in Wilcox, but 57 at this hour in Sierra Vista. Tucson overnight will stay above freezing. We'll dip to 40 degrees at Tucson's airport, but other places a late season freeze. Get set. Nogales, Wilcox, Sierra Vista, Bisbee, Douglas, Oracle. All of these areas dangerously close to freezing, if not sub freezing tonight and for the next couple of nights. 30 degrees for you in Wilcox, 35 Sierra Vista, the same for Oracle, 38 Green Valley, 35 Benson, 30 in Douglas, and 34 for Bisbee. So those lows will be in the 30s, kind of dancing around the freezing mark, especially in Cochise and Grand counties over the next couple of mornings until we start to warm back up. We're not anticipating a freeze for the Tucson area, mind you, with our low tonight at 40 degrees and then come tomorrow night will be up to 42. But look at this warming trend, even with those time highs after our high of 69 in Tucson today, we jump to the low 70s for your Thursday, 80 by Friday, mid 80 Saturday. And would you believe 90 degrees are pretty stinking close to it Sunday and definitely there by Monday for Earth Day. Kagan 9 on your side at 6 o'clock. We'll be right back.